G'day, I'm Ed Richardson and uh, yeah, we're down here at Peter Bar from Richardson Marine. Uh, we've got the sea cruiser boats in the background and we've just been having a bit of a dive and enjoying, this, uh, enjoying the scenery of the southwest. Uh, this is the only boat ramp uh, of, of such, I guess, um, between Warrnambool and Apollo Bay. Well, it's reasonably steep, uh, which scares a lot of people off, which is, which is probably a good thing, I guess. But, um, you know, we, you can still manage to get a decent boat in down here and um, just watch the tides. And once the swell gets above sort of six or seven foot down here, it sort of closes out and you can't get in. But we've been pretty lucky with the weather, um, with the sea. The swell dropped down and just gave us enough opportunity to, to get into some decent spots to grab a crate. Pretty beautiful coastline. It's, um, Predominantly, you know, limestone. So, and to, you know, what you see in the cliffs here is, is what you see underwater. It's um, those shells of um, limestone that uh, was kelp rolling over them that creates great habitat for crays and abalone and, and and fish as well. You know, the fishing can be tough at stages, but the game fishing segment has developed. You know, with the bluefin tuna, and in recent years, you know, the offshore, the deep uh, deep sea fishing has also been developed. So. Um, we've, got, we've got a huge range of fishing down here now, from right from the shoreline out to you know, a thousand metres of depth. So Richardson Marine started in Warrnambool yeah, six years ago. We were, I was, I was uh, custom building alley boats before that and the opportunity was there to take the Suzuki dealership. So we began there in a, like a little shed which we're actually still in today, which is going to change um, in the next couple of months. Yeah, it's basically developed from a little, uh, like a Suzuki dealership into adding a couple of really good brands. And we've always only added brands slowly and, and we've tried to stay to a single single brand as well. We've only got, uh, we've sold Suzuki agents and we've sold Garmin agents. We've got, we think we've got a good range with Stabycraft, Angler Pro and, and Sea Cruiser. Also do Polycraft. So we think we've got a good range to suit the, suit the, the region. Uh, it's, a very, pretty, it's a very uh, strong aluminium area and Suzuki are cover all basic. The little bulldog, the little sea cruiser is perfect for, for what, it, what it did today. You know, it holds that compressor and a, and a hose reel and you can put uh, two or three divers in it. And it's just about sneaking around the rocks here. You don't have to go flat out. You don't have to go through big seas. You just have to be able to position that boat in some tight little areas and get into some spots to dive where the professionals can't get their big boats into. Yeah, the little Bulldog's got the 70 tiller on there at the moment. It should go fine with the 60. Every single boat in our range was built for some reason. You know, this little boat here, the little 4.8, was built because we were doing our trip to Northern Territory. And then we also wanted that to double up as a, a good little dive boat. So, hence we built this little 4.8 and it's been quite popular. Same with the 5.6 centre console Scotty's boat, you know, Scotty needed a boat. So we put together those ideas and, and built that boat and it, it's worked well. You know, every, everyone thinks that boat would suit someone in Northern Territory, but you know, at its best down here on, on the Kingfish or diving at Peterborough, you know, so if you can handle the elements or you can pick your days of, to go fishing, that boat will suit anyone that wants to um, get into some adventure fishing, I guess. Yeah, I think the 560 works really well, the 140. It's rated to 175, that, that hull, but just the weight distribution is right with the 140. It's just really well balanced. It's a mid 30 knot boat. It, it's, it does everything it needs to, you know. So rather than go and change that, we've, we've always put that boat out with a 140 on it. Yeah, there's a six meter uh, hard top. Jimmy's got the one and only of those that we've, we've uh, we developed that only six or eight months ago. Trying to find a boat that sort of could carry that hard top as small as possible. And I reckon about that six meter mark's just on it. You know, I guess having a hard top down here in, in the southwest allows you to fish a lot more days of the year. So from there we go to the 6.3, which we do in a centre cab or a, or a hard top. That's got a bit more weight in it, a bit more horsepower on it, a little bit more dead rise. So it goes a little bit harder into a head sea. Paul's boat, the 6.3, came about from, um, he'd already had a sea cruiser. We built him a seven metre stern drive uh, about four years ago and he wanted to get into a smaller boat, so we developed something you could get around to the front, bottom fish for dapper and gummies. So basically we custom built that centre cab to suit what he wanted, put a bigger fuel tank in it, put a bit more weight in it. He wanted something that would go a bit harder into a, into a sea, go a bit faster. So we put that together and it's, I think he's pretty happy with it. It's turned out the way he wanted. Yeah, the 6.3 centre cab definitely wants that V6 on it. Loves the, um, wants that weight on its transom. The new boat on the water, 7400, yeah, so we've taken basically taken the 7 metre uh, hull and, and uh, developed the transom and um, 
put an extra wide cab on it um, to get a bit more room um, forward. Yeah, we ended up fitting the, uh, the 7400 out with, uh, with the twin 150s. Um, generally, they hull, we've, we've run the 140s on it. Um, what we found yesterday was that it, it, uh, it was actually more fuel efficient with the 150s on it um, and, a lot, and a lot faster boat as well. The simple changes we've made on it have made a big difference, definitely given us more room in the cab. And the transom, you can walk right into those back corners of the transom, which is going to really work for game fishing down this way too, I think. The first one we've done it with, we've, we've created that rigging table in the middle. Um, didn't know how well that was going to work, but definitely uh, looks promising, you know, that from the day out that, at uh, Julia Percy yesterday, it was, it was definitely a win, you know. It was somewhere you could stand and lean against and, and rig, your, rig your rods before, uh, without, you know, sort of fumbling around. It did, definitely didn't get in the way either. The whole Sea Cruiser range has a really simple approach to it, you know, the, uh, the less moving parts on that boat, less issues you're going to have. So no sliding windows, we try and avoid windscreen wipers. Anything that uh, gives us grief with warranty or with, with maintenance, we, we try and avoid. Instead of having the sliding windows on the side, we have, we have vents in the top of the roof. Everything we can weld, we weld. So anything, anything, anything we can avoid in stainless, we avoid. So the, the hull is basically a one welded solid object. I did uh, 10 years in South Australia um, and learned to build boats over there, but moved back to Warrnambool because uh, I, I just think Warrnambool's in a great position, um, not far from Melbourne and also close enough to um, Adelaide and South Australia as well. Why wouldn't you want to come to Warrnambool, you know? Have a look where we're sitting here now. You know, this has got to be the you know, greatest coastline of Australia. It's, um, uh, it's just an angry sea with a, with a, with a beautiful coastline.